Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, November 26, 2014 by Gaia Blooming. Our energy mantra for today is I release any part of me that isn't the spirit of my truth and my infinite potential. And today we have our first revolution, evolution day of Sagittarius. So we know that even Sagittarius has these times where we may feel, we may feel that shift, we may feel that breakdown, but recognize you know, in the spirit of Sagittarius, that it is a great thing. It is a great thing for you because it's helping you release what needs to go so that you can fully step, step more into the truth of who you are. So um, we start off with the moon conjunct Mars. And this is happening while many of us are asleep, that you may wake up with that spirit of it, or you may even like, have that in your spirit, you know, in your dreams. And it's like, oh, I've got to get these things down. I've got so much to do. And so, you know, I recommend that if you have that feeling, you've got to get this done, instead of laying in bed thinking about it, get up and do it. If that energy is coming over you, get up and do that. Use that energy while it's there, because the moon's going to shift into Uranus, and you're going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to bring a whole new thing. So get it done. Get it done while that energy, while you have that. Um, the moon is then going to connect to Saturn. Um, again, and that, that kind of goes with the energy, too, like Saturn wants to get the things done. So, again, instead of sitting there thinking about, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, take some action. Step into the moment and take some action. And don't worry about it. Breathe, trust, everything's going to get done. Um, the moon is then going to move into Aquarius. And I think Aquarius is actually a really great time to come together for a holiday, like we are in the States. Many of us may either be traveling there or already with our families um, by this time. And I think it's so interesting that it's a Uranus ruled day. I actually find that a lot of our big holidays that we have in the States at least are usually right there around Uranus ruled days. And Uranus rules Aquarius. And Uranus and Aquarius are all about humanity and um, community. And so remember that. As much as like, you know, your family may get on your nerves, they may poke, they may get you in the spirit of that <laughs> breakdown, that revolution, evolution, remember that, you know, they're your peeps, and it's ultimately helping you, you know, it ultimately helps you take a step forward. I also, as I was doing this, you know, doing this horoscope, looking at the astrology, I was like, you know, if they're really bugging you, imagine all of them as a Muppet. That is the, that is the wisdom that came through. So, you know, your dad is Professor Honeydew Melon, and your brother, my brother, is Beaker, who is very scientific. Beaker, 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 Beaker. And, um, and then you have, you have Ralph, who's always making jokes, you know. So go through and, and see which Muppet, which Muppet is your family mother? Who's Miss Piggy? <laughs> um, we then have in the afternoon, after the moon moves into Aquarius, kind of shifting everything and getting us more in that community vibe, we have Venus trining Uranus. And so that's definitely going to be fun and playful. Venus is in Sagittarius. Uranus is in Aries. You, if you're cooking already for the big day, you may want to try some new things. You may get some help, like, hey, come help me. Come help me peel these apples. You know, celebrate the moment. Be in the moment with your peeps. Enjoy. Um, we have a lot of stuff today. The moon is connecting to the sun in the afternoon, evening. Again, that's going to be fun. may bring up some interesting subjects to talk about. Don't push your truth on anyone. You know, with the revolution, evolution, and Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you know, loves optimism and open-mindedness, but Sagittarius can be very stuck on, this is the truth, and this is the only truth. I can say this because I'm a Sagittarius. I know this. That's the truth. <laughs> but instead of being like, this is the only truth, be open to other people's experience of the truth. We're all experiencing the world through our, through our, own, our own path. So be open to their experiences. It doesn't mean you have to take it on as yours. I also want to mention that Mercury is finishing up in Scorpio. So, you know, Mercury at those last degrees of Scorpio, especially Scorpio, which, you know, is the truth seeker, like a truth seeking missile, you know, remind yourself of the three gates. Is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? And I've had my family remember reminding me of this ever since I said that I was coming to Thanksgiving this year. So remember that, you know, you don't have to be that dart zinger hitting the bullseye. You can, you know, keep it to yourself, or maybe it's meant to be said. Find the balance in that. 
Um, oh, one last thing. Sun will be squaring Neptune. Sun and Sagittarius squaring Neptune. You know, don't let don't let any illusions get in the way of I don't know. Get in the way of the fun that you're having. Like, oh, maybe maybe this person's thinking this about me or any of those kinds of things. Instead, just call in the miracles. Call in the magic. Because Neptune and Sagittarius, when they do get together, can bring in amazing miracles and magic. Um, all right. So the card for today is We Are the World. And this is actually the Ten of Rainbows, which is the Ten of Cups. This is the celebration card. And notice... All of these people of all the different colors are getting together on the earth and holding hands. This is the perfect celebration card. This is the perfect, perfect Aquarius card. Love your peeps. They may be a different color than you. You may be green and they may be purple. But all together, we make up a fabulous rainbow and a fabulous experience on this planet. So, enjoy. Enjoy the difference. That is it for today. I will see you tomorrow for Thanksgiving and my birthday. Namaste.